Hello, Marco again, and in this month's video I'm going to cover two starting, under the 100 pages, and interesting webcomics, because every webcomic needs to start somewhere, and I think that if these two artists keep up their work, their webcomics can become great and successful. The two webcomics I'm going to talk about this month are Bark and Bone by Craig Brown and the Pokemon fan comic Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Adventures of Might and Magic by Nexu. This video shall be a little bit shorter because I'm going to talk about two beginning webcomics with less than 30 pages, but I hope it shall be as informative as my other videos. Also I'm going to summarize the stories, so spoiler alert. And with that out of the way, let's get started. The first webcomic, Bark and Bone, with its first few pages, has made a good start. This webcomic has an amazing story and a great art style. And the amazing story is about a skeleton who tries to find the necromance that employed him in his dungeon and he's trying to get his job back. That part is a little bit vague, but I hope it shall be explained a little bit better later on. On his way to find the necromancer, he saves a puppy from a troll that guards a bridge. After that, the puppy begins to follow him, and that is when our bonely hero decides to let him go with him, and names him Barkley. And together they go on adventures to find the necromancer, and get himself a job with said necromancer. And now the art. The art of this comic is amazing. It looks funny, cartoonish, and the backgrounds are very well made. Just take a look at the cover. It shows our two main characters with our hero trying to strike an epic pose. But Barkley undermines it, but just doesn't know what he does wrong. But he looks quite cute while he does it. The backgrounds show the medieval fantasy setting, but if it weren't for our skeleton hero, the fantasy part would be hard to see. The letters of the title look also nice, and I love the skull as an O. It made me think a little bit of the Team Skull logo of Pokemon Sun and Moon, which I loved. But skulls in general are cool in my opinion. And this was just the cover. The comic itself is also artistically amazing. Now the second comic, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Adventures of Might and Magic. This is also an amazing comic, with the same reasons as the previous one, so let's go to the first reason, the story. The story is about our two heroes, the Brakeson Maitu and the Honage Hiro, who want to become part of the Rupton Rescue Team Guilds, don't know the real name of the guild yet, and Maitu's own quest to figure out what happened to his father. The story starts in the town of Zafira, where our first hero, Maitu, is reading his acceptance letter for the guild. After that, he gives his heartfelt goodbye to his mother, and then meets up with our second hero, Hiro the Honage, with who he goes to the local shop run by two Ludicolo to check if they have the supplies they need. After that, Maitu gets the looplet left by his father from the village chief, and with that, our two heroes go into the glinting forest to start their adventures. Now with the summary of the prologue done, let's go to the next topic. The art! The art of the story looks quite nice. The Pokemon characters are nicely drawn, they have good shading, but the line art is a little bit less refined, by which I mean that if you look closely at lines, you can see it's kinda blocky, but in later pages it is less visible. The Pokemon in the story have something nice that I really like. You can see that it's especially good with the Ludicolo that run the story in town. They have different body types. Because I love it when an artist changes up Pokemon a little bit by giving them a different haircut or body type or something else because it helps to differentiate between the same type of Pokemon. And I hope that next two shall do that with more Pokemon in the story. Now the backgrounds, and sorry to say this but they are not so special. They do a great job of showing where the story happens, and the shading is nicely done. Just take a look at the shot of the village where the adventure begins. It shows the village nicely, the shadows of the buildings go all in the same direction. You can see the villagers, and the clothes by shrubbery and trees look nice and well done. But the houses look a tad bit simplistic even from a distance, and the hills that separate the village from the sea look very flat. But for what it does, it does its job well enough. And now my conclusion about these stories. 
And my conclusion about these stories is, they are amazing. With the 20 or so pages that have been made as far of this recording, it is well worth reading them and wait for them to make more pages. With their amazing art style and great stories. So go to smackjeeves.com, look up these two webcomics and go read them for yourselves and add them to your faves list. So I hope you like my video and please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know any other webcomics I can cover on my channel, please leave them in the comment section.